This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Are you the person to talk to as oh, far no. I'm sorry. No, so unfortunately we don't offer the uh, CDL training course anymore. Oh, y'all don't. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at E. RST, the transportation solution. Unfortunately, in this call, it had to be flipped because CRST no longer offers their CDL A program. Uh, for some odd reason, they got rid of it. I did read somewhere of the reason why they got rid of it, but it's still on their website that they're offering it. But unfortunately, they don't have it no more. So we flipped it and made it into an MTC. They offer flatbed, drive-in, and dedicated refrigerated. They are proud to announce the largest team driver pay increase in CRST's history. They say that the OTR team drivers can now earn up to 85 cent CPM. So if you're interested in finding out more, stay tuned. Uh, yeah, well, like, I mean, we'd be able to hire you for an over the road team position, be about seven to 10 days out and then two days home. Okay. 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 Um, okay. So how much, how much experience would you require, uh, you know, after I get my CDL? Uh, we've been people in with zero experience. Okay, awesome. Uh, so you said I would be over the road. So would I? What what lanes do you guys uh, run, and would I be able to get a chance to run into Canada? Uh, no, we just do the lower forty eight states. Okay, and you said this would be over the road. So what would my home time looks look like? Uh, look. It'd be seven to ten days out, and then two days home. Okay. Uh, Pre-employment drug screening. Uh, what is it? Hair follicles or urine or both? We do both. Yep. Okay. So that, now I am kind of leery about the hair follicle part uh, because I taught, I'm in a lot of trucking groups and, you know, those are some of the topics that, that comes up in those groups. So to my understanding, the urine is FMCSA uh regulated right correct the hair is not the hair is not so if one would pass the urine but not the hair follicles that person would still be disqualified to come in with crst yeah i'd be a permanent disqualifier oh it's a permanent disqualifier Yep, wow. if you fail a drug test with us, it's a permanent disqualifier. Oh, okay, okay. Now that's but but that's if somebody don't pass the hair follicle. I mean, the the urine, as far as the urine being good, but it will still be a permanent. Okay, I just I just wanted to clarify that. That's all. My partner, you know, not to throw him under the bus or anything like that, but he has indulged. You know, so I, I I think I would tell him that. <laughs> I will tell him that. <laughs> yeah. I will definitely yeah, I tell just, him that. Yeah, I would just talk to him, and then once you guys get your CDL, just give us a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so once I get my CDL, uh, and you said you'll be able to bring me in with zero experience, what would be the what would be my pay? Like, what would I start at? Forty five cents a mile. Oh, 45? Oh, okay. 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 Uh the equipment, the trucks I'll be driving. What 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 kind of trucks they are and and I think this word is governed. What what are they governed at? Uh governed at 67 Cascadia Freightliners. Okay. Uh any type of uh driver cameras? Yep, inside and outside. Okay, okay. Are we now as far as the driver camera, are we able to cover it up if we not comfortable with that or no? No. Okay. 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 Um being that I'm a new guy, 
and I just got my license, am I able to choose where the dispatches is or is it forced? It's forced dispatch. Okay. Uh, again, being that I'm a new guy, how many miles I can, I can average a week with you? Um, I mean, right now we're not even bringing in drivers because we don't have enough freight to offer. So I'm, I'm not sure what that answer will be in the next couple of months. Oh, okay. Okay. Thanks for being honest. I, I appreciate that. Uh, pet and wider, pet and rider policy and how young can I bring my child with me? Oh, we don't allow riders. Oh, okay. What about, what about pets? Uh, it need to be an emotional support animal or a service animal. Oh, okay. 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 Um, all right. And being that I'm a brand new driver, is there any type of uh, sign on bonus or any type of reimbursement for, for my schooling? Uh, we offer tuition reimbursement, 350 a month, up to $8,000, but there's no sign on bonus. Okay. All right, man. Well, Hey, I, I appreciate you uh, taking the time. Are you guys flatbed or, or driving or both? This this would be drive in. The position we'd be offering you would be drive in. Oh, okay. Can we? I I did. I do see some CRST drivers driving flat flatbed. Can I? Can I jump on that? Um, all our flatbed requires six months of experience. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Would that? Well, let me ask you this right quick. If I'm if I'm good with the company within that particular time frame that you said, can I can I learn from any anybody? at CRST for flatbed if I want to go flatbed in the future? Yeah, they can they can transfer you. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right, bud. Well, thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate your time. Yep, have a good rest of your day. Hey, you too now. CRST, everybody. <laughs> now, you know what? I, I called CRST way back in the day. I, I think this was in, I know it was either in the first or second season of me uh, doing the calls. And I know I talked with, uh, I think the, uh, I think the first time when I called them, it wasn't a good call. I, I think it was more so, I, I'm not sure if it was them or CR England that I had to go through like at least three recruiters to, to get the information that I was looking for at the time. But fast forward to 2023, uh, unfortunately, CRST do not have the accredited trucking school anymore. I have read somewhere that uh, it was a situation and I think they got sued or settlement or anything like that. But in any case, go ahead and look it up for yourselves. Um, they, they don't offer uh, CDL training for you guys, but I flipped the script and I went on ahead and still got the information for you guys as far as what they're looking for. Right now, as of right now, they're not hiring any drivers. And this recruiter was straight up honest. Like, bro, we just don't have no freight. <laughs> when have you heard of, of a recruiter that actually says that? Like, like nowadays, these recruiters is so gun ho into getting you in the seat, you know, Regardless if they got freight or not, they still get compensated for getting you in the seat. But, bro, right here, like, yo, man, look, we ain't bringing on nobody. We just don't have no freight. Now, we can't say if that would change in the coming months, maybe. But right now, we just don't have no freight. Um, You have to have six months of experience prior to coming in to CRST if you want to do the flatbed division uh they'll start you off like brand new drivers and I'm only talking about brand new drivers I'm not sure they probably might start you off at a little bit more but that's when you give them a call and find out especially if you're an experienced driver you got to also remember that CRST 
is one of those trucking companies that's like a starter company. Lockout, what do you mean by starter company? Well, those are the type of companies that would give you a chance once you come up out of CDL school. Now, I know a lot of, I, I, I came across a lot of people and I, I've seen a lot of, a lot of texts and a lot of comments about people getting their CDLs and they just not able to find a trucking company that will accept them. I don't understand. Now, I can understand CRST's T situation of not having no freight, but I don't understand everybody else's, like U.S. Express. Well, then again, I could probably understand U.S. Express. They just got brought out. Uh, maybe Prime. Maybe Snyder. Maybe they just not looking in the right areas, I guess. I, I don't know, but let's stick to the script. Uh, CRST will start you off at 45 cent per mile. Now, when I was looking up and seeing if CRST still had their school, their CDL training school, it said somewhere in that it was 36 cent per mile after you go out with a trainer. Now, is that still true for a new driver with zero experience? Maybe. Don't know, but hey, it is what it is. Um, of course, they do urine and hair follicles. Uh, if you pass the urine and if you flunk the hair follicles, you're out. Period. Don't call them back. You you get clean, they don't want to hear from you. You're done. One and done. So if you're uh smoke weed every day if you're doing that then it's time to stop and get yourself super clean super clean because if you pass the urine and don't pass the hair follicle of course you're going to be in the clearinghouse so let's just get that out the way and crst says you're done you're done we we don't want you we don't want to be bothered with you you're done. Um, sign on bonus. I don't think there's any. And of course, if you're coming from a school and you they if you're coming from a school, they will give you tuition reimbursement. So that's a good thing. CRST, the information for you to give them a call. And if you want to know more about them, will be in the description below. Let them know Lockout Men sent you. Hopefully, by the time you come out of school and decide to go out, you know, what company you want to go out with, maybe CRST would be that company of choice. And hopefully, they'll have some freight to go along the way. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, Anything else? Uh, anything else? I don't know, but just stay tuned for the Nets MTC. We're calling schools. We're calling trucking schools. We're calling companies. We're gonna keep you. We we're gonna keep you informed over here at the Recruiter Call Channel. I am your host, Lockout Men. Thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?